Right, the fabled Harley Davidson 6 volt charging system, which is bad. Um, when you say fabled, why fabled? Because everybody has grief with them. They're just, they're not a very good system. Um, but basically you've got three parts, generator, relay, switch. That's it, basically. Obviously you've got your battery feed. Obviously you've got generator. So as that turns, it creates a current, yeah? Okay. These are called a three brush. You can get two brush, but then you have to run what they call a voltage regulator instead of a cutout relay. Yeah. So your three brush, that's your third brush there. So you can loosen that off on the end screws. Okay. You can adjust that third brush, see? Yeah. And what that does, it doesn't increase the charge rate as such, it increases the amount of amps going into the battery. So if you've got it wound flat out, you'll cook your battery. Yeah. So you need to get that, I normally go about a quarter of an inch back from the bottom. Yeah. And you can see how check how many amps are coming out of it when it's running just off of your battery cable. Yeah. That's your basic first bit. Normally these don't go wrong. They, they can go wrong, but it, it, normally it's new brushes and clean. Can you see that brass bit in there? Yeah. That's all segments. Yeah, so it's alternating. So that's what forms the charge. Now, can you see those lines in it when I turn it? They're your segments of the commutator. The bits in between are called mica. Okay, if you've got a lathe, you can take that out, spin it up on a lathe, clean that, or cut it back very slightly with, with your tool. And then what I do is just put your tool in and you can just slide left to right on the lathe and clear out those slots of mica. If all, if all the copper is smudged over each other, it's never gonna work. So they have to be different. That's basically, unless the field coils are gone, which are bolted on here and here, then there isn't really a lot more that can go wrong. You know, there's lots of things can go wrong with them. You've got the windings, interior, um, field coils, but generally, as a rule, it's normally just brushes and that end needs cleaning up. Yeah. So that forms the power. You've got the battery power from the battery goes into this terminal here. So that power then transfers through when it's in its, I'll show you the settings in a minute, transfers through to that wire there, which is goes up to your dashboard warning light. Yeah. Okay, so you've got power in normal situation, not running, turn the ignition on, not running, power goes, well, that's constant live anyway. But you turn that on and it powers up, then that, will send a pulse up to your generator warning light on the dash panel, the green light. Yeah. Okay? Now this one goes to that terminal there, your relay, so that's the feed to the other side. Yeah. Okay? So you've got two sets of points. You've got one there and one there. One there, one there, yeah? Right. So once in normal operating position, that should be up there, okay? So you've got a spring, that's spring loaded, see it? Mm -hmm. So what you do is you bend that brass piece there, okay, till it keeps it holding up. So you put some pressure on that spring, look. On a little bit more than that. I'll give it a little bit more, okay? So that's holding it up. So when the power comes into it, goes into there, comes out of there, so that's your charge warning light. So that's on that constant circuit there, okay? Now when the generator starts rotating and it starts charging, that pulls down on there. So you've got power coming out of there to the relay. Yeah. Yeah. So when that starts charging, it puts power into that side, operates this, which is an electromagnet. So that contact there 
and that piece of brass, see that little piece of brass in the middle? Yeah. So when that powers up, the windings polarise that and make it magnetic. So that pulls that down, bang. So that goes down to the other set of points, mm -hmm. okay? What that then does is turn off your charge light so you know it's charging, yeah? yeah? It should turn itself off just with the engine running. But when you turn the lights on, it gives it another boost. Your third brush comes in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Operates your field coil. Because before that comes on, if you turn the lights on and there isn't enough charge coming through it, it will just drain the battery in about three hours. Yeah. yeah? Okay? So that, once that fires, you have a light from there. A wire from there goes up to your switch. And that wire goes to your headlamp wire. Your headlamp wire, headlamp feed and your green wire that comes from that switch goes down to there. Yeah, and that activates the third brush. Okay. So then that will hold all of that down there even with the lights on. Mm -hmm. And you know it's charging then. Biggest thing that goes wrong with these is the setup of the air gap there points and points there so it's easy to check you put your spring load on there so you know that's there because what it does if that spring load isn't on that goes down to there and because the bike isn't running it's on constant discharge so it just drain your battery straight out so what you do set feeler gauges 11 12 13 14 15 cell Right, so you want an air gap between the top of the electromagnet there and this piece that moves up and down, look. You want 15 thousandths of an inch in there. Okay? Got it. So that's a nice air gap. The only, you, the only way you adjust them is by bending them. So we've bent that up to make it nice and spring low. Normally that's what goes wrong. Yeah. And that is on the bottom set of points and it'll just short the battery out and just drain the battery flat out, yeah? Right, then you can adjust that one by bending it, and you can adjust that one by bending it. So with the points fully up, spring loaded up there, you want 20 thousandths of an inch in between those points. So you want 20 thousandths of an inch there, yeah? So that's a nice 20 thou, yeah? Then you hold those down and you want 20 thou on those. And that's basically the way you adjust them. And that should, in theory, work. You, you, when your charge light goes on and off, you can slow or lengthen the rate that it goes off at certain revs, yeah? By moving that spring but you still got to maintain contact on that but you can pull that down still got contact still got contact and that will alter like when you fire a bike straight up your generator light generally goes out but some of them you have to give it a few more revs mm -hmm. and then the generator or you have to load it up by flicking the lights on and that will fire the third brush and hit click the relay in quicker. Yeah. What they say in the manual is you should, 20 mile an hour in top gear, the light should go out. <coughs> um, which when you think about it in top gear at 20 mile an hour, you're not doing very many revs. Mm. So generally, I'll show you on that one in a minute. Um, so that's basically all your settings. You can't do a lot more. You can check these, there's a way of checking them, we call motoring them up. So that, you can turn that into an electric motor. So you can check that, but I can't remember which way you wire it up now, but you put power on earth or something, and that will wind over as an electric motor instead of a generator, you're running it in reverse. So then you know that that is physically working. Make sure that when you get power into that, it pulls that down on the electromagnet, yeah? Because all you've got is earth to the points, back to the bottom. So I think it's that one you power up and that should pull that down. If that isn't pulling down, it's never gonna work. It means yeah. the, the coil windings have gone in there. 
But basically that's it, on and off, on and off. That's non-charge, that's charge, non-charge, charge. Okay, so I'll show you on this one. Right, so nothing's on. Ignition on, yeah? That's your light, that's your ignition light. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've just primed it. Give it a kick. you're first connecting your battery up with the ignition off if you get any kind of spark or anything when you're connecting that wire it means that the points in the relay are stuck down yeah so the first thing to do is bend that little brass tab and get them get it spring loaded so that they're hitting the top top set of points must touch all the time without the engine running yeah so if you get all of that roundabout right yeah it should they they, they, they do work but they're just quirky things. You know? Yeah. 